Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Popeye, them finos say you're firm on street. And the news where you carry are no counterfeit. So tell all who are fighter you, them can't defeat. And I got give your strength so your heart no weak. Mm-hmm. So I say God and greatness. Like, subscribe, and share to Popeye News Links if it's the truth you want to hear. So yeah. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. Do remember that tomorrow evening, Saturday, April 6th, all road leads to the Sean Lavery Faith Hall on Lewis Street in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. It's the epic event. Red Revolution, the red carpet event. There'll be lots of fun and excitement. This will be a fashion show with a difference. And Kerry Page, she's going all out to ensure that this event is a blast. Don't miss it. In the news today, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Thursday, April 4, between 12.30 and 3 o'clock. We are told that the St. James Police, they carried out a major operation in the Caton Lane area of Mount CLM in the parish of St. James. A farm area was searched and bingo. If you look on your screen, those two M16 rifles along with three magazines and 66 M16 rounds were found by the police in that same operation that most wanted hoodlum was held by the police his name is andino shemar burnett but he's popularly known as dino dino is 19 years old and he was wanted for the killing of that man on your screen his name is akim robinson he was 34 years old Akim, he was shot and killed on Fostick Road in Montego Bay on the afternoon of Thursday, November 23, last year, about 2 o'clock. Like I had reported before, a female who Akim was involved in a relationship with, she had paid money to get rid of Akim. Dino, he was also wanted on a bench warrant because on Saturday, September 16, last year, he was held with an illegal 9mm Ruger pistol containing 6 live rounds. He went to court and he was granted bail, but he did not show up back in court. So, let's see if another judge is going to be granting Dino bail. <laughs> Still in the parish of St. James. This one took place yesterday afternoon. Thursday, April 4, about minutes after 5 o'clock. It took place at retirement in the Granville Police Area in the parish of St. James. We are told that the St. James Police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid in the area. While they were searching some bushes at the back of a premises, a bag was found. The bag was searched and bingo. That Ruger 9mm pistol with the serial number intact affixed with a magazine containing 13 rounds of 9mm cartridges were found. We are told that two guys, one is 19 and the other one is 17 years old. They were taken into police custody for questioning. Intelligencers, big up on yourself. And St. James Police, job well done now in this next report that guy on your screen his name is Dwayne junior minto but he's popularly known as 2014. myself and other bloggers have carried a lot of stories about 2014. he was charged for the murder of vernon boswell popularly known as punch Punch was 29 years old and he was an auto parts dealer and a wrecker driver. Punch was shot and killed at his business place at Sun Valley Road in the parish of St. James. A 45-year-old man who worked at the garage, he was also shot and injured. That incident took place on the morning of 
Thursday, June 3, 2021. 2014, he went to court on the murder charge and he was subsequently granted bail. Now, we are also told that since 2014 was granted bail for the murder of Punch. He was also charged following a confrontation with the police in St. Catherine. He was charged for assaulting the police and other offenses. Several attempts has been made on 2014's life. In one such attempt, he was shot and seriously wounded in Old Arbor. An off-duty police officer was nearby and he shot and killed the guy who shot 2014. 2014's brother, he was shot and killed by hoodlums. 2014's mother's house was burnt down by hoodlums and recently, his aunt Sudine Hilton, also known as Pinky, she was shot and killed by hoodlums. Reports are that 2014, he was trying to make it to the border to go to the United States of America. So, he obtained a Jamaican passport in the name of Tevin Anthony Hardin with the date of birth, December 31, 1994. Remember now, 2014, he was born on May 31, 2000. On Tuesday, April 2, earlier this week, one day after Tom Fool's Day or All Fool's Day, <laughs> 2014, he went to the Norman Manley International Airport. At the airport, he presented the passport in the name of Tevin Anthony Hardin. He was supposed to be boarding an Aerojet Airlines flight number 1094 to Santa Domingo in Dominica Republic with connecting flights to Panama and Belize. Alarm bells went off and 2014, he was immediately carted off and interviewed by investigators. All was revealed and Duane Minto, also known as 2014, he was arrested and charged for the offenses of forgery, uttering forged documents and conspiracy to commit forgery. He'll be appearing in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday, April 9. So, the question is, the question is, the fact that 2014 was trying to flee Jamaica, will he be remanded in custody on the murder charge or will he be granted bail again? Let's wait and see. And, by the way, yeah man, by the way, you want to know where this country is headed? I'm going to show you a video. This video is of 2014 and members of the 6th camp performing at the St. James High School in Montego Bay in front of teachers and students. Remember now, they had to be officially invited to come and perform at the school. Watch this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
take me first. Then Jill Zai. Good afternoon. You know, I think come to me, man. You see that? You heard that? <laughs> Boy, may I tell you. And then, we are wondering, what is wrong with Jamaica? Nothing wrong with Jamaica, you know. Not a thing wrong with Jamaica. It's us as a people. And may I talk about some big people. May I talk about, t you know what? In this next report, I carried a story on Wednesday, April 3. It was about an incident that took place Early that same morning at minutes to 3 o'clock. It took place in front of a bar along the Lilliput Main Road in the parish of St. James. That man on your screen. His name is Jordan Gill, but he was popularly known as Boop God. He was born on April 20, 1988, almost 36 years old. Bookgard was a welder and a DJ and he lived on Half Moon Street in the Carroll Gardens area of St. James. Bookgard, he was in the process of crossing the road when he was hit down by a Toyota Corolla motor car. Now, the police at the Carroll Gardens police station, they are asking relatives of Jordan Gale, also known as Bookgard, to contact the station. As you can see on the passport, Boop God, he was born in the parish of St. Catherine. If you know any of his family members, please ask them to call 876-953-2229. That's 876-953-2229. Alright? In this next report, the St. James Police, they are carrying out investigations to ascertain how a man met his demise. His name is Mr. Noel Mark Dunn. He was born on March 15, 1940, 84 years old. And he was a retiree living at Cornwall District in the Baritone Police area in the parish of St. James. We are told that Mr. Dunn, he suffered from Alzheimer's disease. On January 23, earlier this year a relative reported that mr dunn he was missing he was reported missing at the barrett town police station mr dunn he had not been seen or heard from since yesterday morning thursday april 4 about 7 30 residents they went into bushes close to where mr dunn lived to pick nisbury the residents, they were surprised when they saw a human skull and skeletal remains on the ground. As a result, the police were called and they processed the scene. We are told that a national ID bearing the name Noel Mark Dunn was found in a pair of short pants that Mr. Dunn, he was last seen wearing. That shirt was found close to the skeletal remains. Investigations are continuing and if there is anything new, I will certainly be updating this story. Sad indeed. In this next report, on Thursday, March 7, there was a report on the Jamaica Constabulary Force's social media pages. Listen to Senior Superintendent Howard Chambers, the man who was in charge of the St. Catherine North Division at the time. Listen this. On Thursday, March 7, about 11.45 a.m., a target raid operation was conducted in the Duncan Spain area of Spanish Town. This was a joint police military operation in search of men said to be in possession of toileted weapons. The team on approaching a particular premises saw a man acting suspiciously. He, he began to run as the team advanced and disembarked from the service vehicles. One M16 rifle with serial number erased with two magazines and 25 5.56 cartridges fell from him as he made good his escape in the adjoining community. Search was ensued. The adjoining community was searched Additional resources were garnered and here was canvas, but this man was. So the police, 
They had named Rajik Williams, popularly known as Zeke. Age 33 years old of 10 Carlets Road in Spanish Town as the guy who had dropped the M16 rifle and ran away. The police, they had appealed to Zeke to hand himself over to them, but Zeke, he did not. Well, yesterday evening, about a few minutes to 7 o'clock, a team of police officers acting on intelligence, they went to the back gate at the Caribbean Golf Course in St. Catherine. The police, they are reporting that they saw two hoodlums who immediately opened gunfire at them. They returned the fire and one escaped, but one was hit. The one who was hit turned out to be none other than Rajik Williams, also known as Zeke. The police, they are reporting that Zeke, he was found clutching a black Taurus PT-809 pistol with the serial number intact. It was affixed with a magazine containing nine rounds of nine millimeter cartridges. The police, they are also saying that they found an additional 20 9mm rounds in one of Zeke's pants pockets. Zeke, he died on the spot. Another hoodlum bites the dust. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that guy on your screen. His name is Weird Phillips, but he was popularly known as Scatter. In less than three weeks, on April 25, Scatter, he will be celebrating his 37th birthday. Scatter lived at Orange Bay Road in the Lagood area of Hanover, where we are told that Scatter, he was seen as the area done. It is said that Scatter, he has been the target of many police operations and he was suspected to be involved in several criminal activities. It is also said that for a while now, Hoodlums wanted Scatter dead, but he ran a tight ship in the Lagood area where he lived, meaning he always had guys around protecting him. Our information is that in later years, Scatter, he started a family and his name was not being mentioned like before in criminal activities. It is said that Scatter's mother and his baby mother, they operated stalls at the Bloody Bay Beach right beside a popular hotel in Negril and it was known that Scatter, he was there on some occasions. Yesterday morning, Thursday, April 5, about a few minutes to 11 o'clock. Scatter and other persons, they were in a craft shop on the beach. Scatter, he was dressed in a multicolored t-shirt, a blue jean shirt and a pair of black slippers. Apparently, Scatter being on the beach was seen as a soft target because, like I said, in Lagood where he lived, he ran a tight ship. A hoodlum stepped in the shop. Pulled a gun and opened gunfire hitting Scatter to his head and his chest. A 38-year-old guy from the parish of Westmoreland. He was also in the shop and he received a gunshot wound to his left side. The hoodlum, he was then seen running away from the shop with a gun in his hand. Scatter, he fell to the ground and that was it for him. From all indication, he died on the spot. The other guy who was shot, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, six 9mm spin shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend.
about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Jump, jump.